like uh, the past two months or two two uh, tournaments. So yeah. right, I'm gonna hop off. Sorry, I'm holding out too long. <laughs> All right, so Rose uh, going to Starterville, obviously. Who doesn't? Rogue Penguin has taken zero damage. My goodness. Unbeatable. Unbeatable? <laughs> What's going on, dude? Perfect record so far. All right, uh, never mind. But <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Still almost 80% lead. Yeah, well. That's ridiculous. Great start, to say the least, here. Yeah, certainly. That's a, this is a start that I would be looking forward to get. But Cuban's going to try for those bomb setups. And if he lands the bomb, it usually leads up into an aerial. Yep, that's a ton of damage. Definitely. Every time you land a bomb. And, and Cuban's, aerials. Cuban's the kind of player that like a lot of uh, damage doesn't really matter like that insanely. Because he's not going to get like hit by your stuff that often. Like He's not going to get hit by a random kill move. And Toon Link's aerials are deceivingly strong. Like it's almost very everyone. strong. They so will they will kill at like 80, 70 percent. It like at a at the certain sides of the stage. And pretty much all of them are kill moves, you know. Yeah, pretty much. I can't like back air might be like the one that I think it like has the least potential to kill move. But yeah. or no, neutral air. My bad. I forgot neutral air. Yeah. Was yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Uh, Rogue Penguin's really making good use of the cape in this matchup. Yep. It's definitely a thing that Mario's uh, blessed with, I would say. He's got the, the cape to like deal with projectiles, and then he's got his own projectile. And lots of like really good moves. But Cuban's making up the percent difference. Mm -hmm. Surely but slowly. Ooh. He's still not dead yet, though. He's at 158. Rogue Penguin's trying to like do some flood things to make it a lot harder for Cuban to recover, but it's he not damage. Yeah, and it's not a kill move. And this this is the the base problem that Mario has, you know. Yeah, he's able to rack up tons of damage, but you need to find you need to find the kill somewhere. He finds a nice back air pretty close off stage. Ooh. That's definitely a punish. Yeah. But only Ooh, seven. Wow. Actually. The up air lasting quite a while. Oh wow! Dance Crazy line games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a kind of like a miss inputs, but it was scary. pretty crazy. That bomb, uh, a little too far for the bomb follow up. But I mean, Mario's at 150 now, so most random moves will probably kill him by now. Yeah. But if the bomb follow ups don't work, that takes out a lot of um, Cuban's kill potential. You know? Yeah, without a, without a read, it would be a lot harder for him to get a kill. But I could definitely see him going for like an up smash or like a back throw if he, uh, if he feels like uh, the bomb follow-ups aren't working out. <laughs> he went for the bomb follow-up, even though the bomb didn't work. Yeah. Red Penguin fell into it instead. Oh, he tried to go for a crazy, like... like a, yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Every time Mario gets a rising up air, it just, it's over. Like, this is the end. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> oh, man. Team Link nice fighting strain. back with his own up, up uh, tilt strings. Yeah, up stuff, I call it. <laughs> Hit him with the up stuff. Oh, bomb stuff. Nice. No so much damage. Yeah. Tons of, tons of projectiles. Yeah, this is really close now. Yep. The lead that Rogue Penguin had is no longer. I would yeah. say this is completely even. Yeah. The percent, the percent differential doesn't really show whether it's a, a lead that much in this matchup because Feeling's kill power is so much more than Mario's. Definitely. Mario needs kind of like a really good back here, like a forward smash. That was close. There it is. Nice bomb follow-up. At the <laughs> correct percentage. Cuban taking a huge sigh of relief. Woo! Clawed his way back. Yeah. In that match. Yep. The struggle. <laughs> the struggle conquered, though. Yep.
a lot of people have a lot of trouble with this projectile heavy, you know, spacing out, camping, playstyle that Cuban uses. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to see uh, how Rogue Penguin deals with it. You know, he was doing a good job with the capes at the start. Yep. But then I feel like he kind of forgot and just kind of kept getting hit by bombs. Yeah, he it seemed he got frustrated and he wanted to, like, he really wanted to finish it out. And he, uh, he started throwing out moves that, like, he, he hoped would just work out. But they were kind of like... It, it was hard to it, would, it was hard to tell if they were reads or just hopeful. Mm -hmm. And yes, the Mario player does his Wiimote. And he has the Mario The Wiimote. Mario Wiimote. It powers up his Mario at least 20%. Because it's a uh, same game. Or just, ooh! <laughs> his own bomb follow. <laughs> his own bomb combo. The custom bomb combos. Mario's never had a bomb in his life. The bomb bombs, you know? Well, yeah, bomb bombs. Those are like living, though. Yeah. Mario hates bombs. Bob bombs are his natural enemies. Well, some of them at least. There's like thwomps and. There's other the pink stuff. ones, they're friendly. Oh, the pink ones, yeah, that's right. So, Battlefield being the stage of choice uh, for Penguin. I think it's a good pick for sure. You know, Makes a lot of sense. The uh, the aerials, the, the aerial game, aerial using game, is a lot easier because of the platforms, and being able to be like above him and then throw his fireballs is also pretty good. And it could make uh, the projectiles a little harder for Cuban to land. Yeah, because it protects him from the like from above. But Rogue Penguin here really getting walled out. Yeah, he's finding trouble getting like. The, uh, the his spacing, his uh, the uh, stage control back. Uh, it looks like he wanted to get a forward air there. He was kind of fishing for it, but uh, Cuban not really recovering too early. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the back throw. Cuban goes for the forward air whenever he throws a bomb, almost. <laughs> Usually, yeah. Uh, it's pretty, like, it's kind of safe because you don't want, like, if you're playing against a nice cape. <laughs> That's it. That worked. That wow. was ridiculous. Who says Flood's a bad move? Do that. <laughs> I was just saying in that the other situation that it wasn't doing damage and it wasn't, like, helping him because he was at such a high damage anyway. This situation, though, kind of set it up real well, and it works. Double flood with the cape. Double flood with cape, yeah. And that's something we see a lot from Rogue Penguin is using the cape and the flood for those edge guards. Yep. You know, something I don't see a lot of other Marios use. It is yeah. really effectively. Rogue Penguin kind of uh, running away with this game. He's not getting hit by bomb combos. I think he's too high percent for the bomb to forward air. Hit yeah. But, but just a rogue forward air on the Rogue Penguin. I was going to say it, but you did it for me. <laughs> oh, wow. That knockback is so ridiculous. It is quite crazy. That was odd to say. <laughs> yeah, the, the cape just uh, ended up dealing damage because he uh, was already tethered to the stage. So I guess turning him around while tethered doesn't really change the fact that he just grabs the stage. I've seen, so that's happened twice before now. So Mario throws his hurt back out, which the bomb connects with, and then the explosion is close enough to Toon Link that it hits him as well. Yeah. Which is interesting. A uh, funny thing about the bomb is that when it hits Toon Link, it does less damage to Toon Link, I think. That's cheating. It's kind of <laughs> cheating, but it is his bomb. Shaq can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Oh. That wall jump was his demise. <laughs> yeah, I thought the wall jump was really cool, but I guess not. 1-1. One, one. Yup. That was a definitely more definitive than the first game. Yeah. Definitely looked very, very much so in Rogue Penguin's favor. Whereas the first game was pretty close between the two. Uh, to see the bracket, type in exclamation point bracket in the chat. Mm -hmm. That'll pull it up. Once you hear this in like 20 seconds or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Having uh, chat commands is like really useful. Definitely. Something I, I love about Twitch. <laughs> We're going back to Smashville? Okay. Alright. Smashville is definitely a stage that I think Cuban would want. 
being mostly Final Destination, but with a platform. Yeah. Like a moving platform. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is some weird stuff we're seeing. It's the brawl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just fighting each other right now. A lot. All right, now they've decided, all right, let's go back to the standard. <laughs> let's go back to what we used to do. Let's go back to what we used to do. What we used to be. Oh, he oh, really threw the bomb cape. after the cape. Kind of looks like he held on to the bomb rather than uh, just uh, threw it too late. <laughs> yeah, he, he went for that up air before the bomb even like connected with the ground. It's a projectile game, though. Yep. Rogue Penguin taking it nice and slow, even though he's got the disadvantage. Neither one is gaining anything. That was the first hit in a while. Like yep. Boomerang, yeah, the boomerang was coming back. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I think bomb to forward air. We got okay. <laughs> nice, nice call out with, with the, the curse, predictions. <laughs> The, with the future predictions. I love when he does the bomb re-grabs. Yeah, that's, that's always so cool. He bounces against the shield and then jump up and grab it again. Well, Penguin is not taking any damage, even though he's going for pretty risky things, I think. I would say. He's also not really dealing damage, so... He's also not getting the things that he's going for. Oh, nice Very tech. nice, but no. It's a good DI. Yeah. Can we get the edge guard though? No. No. <laughs> He's fishing. He's fishing for the KO. Something that I was talking with the GX Fire on commentary was that a lot of Smash 4 players like to st stay on stage for uh, edge guards instead of like going out, kind of getting, trying to get like a surprise hit. Yeah, yeah. Depends on the character, because some characters are pretty bad at going on stage, but... Yeah. And, of course, you don't want to risk the air dodge and then get killed. Get gimped yourself. However, when there's a pretty, like, sizable, like... If any of your move can pretty much get the KO... I guess I would personally take the risk. Mm -hmm. The timing... He's tra he keeps trying to cape... Oh, the fireball actually <laughs> neutralized the boomerang there. That's odd. Mm-hmm. But he, uh, Rogue Penguin keeps missing the cape timing for the boomerang when it's behind him. Yeah. It, uh, He's taking these slight, takes the damage so he doesn't really need to. Yeah, it's like the, every time he gets like an extra bit of damage, it just, uh, the lead just grows like pretty high. Because like, uh, him being at kill percent for bomb, bomb to forward air versus uh, not having any percent is really bad. Also, if that uh, bomb ex ooh, yeah. I was gonna say if that bomb exploded after.